2021 could also be the year when countries write their own rules for the internet. This month, we witnessed a major pushback against tech giants. First, the WhatsApp privacy fiasco, then Australia's bid to make big tech pay for news. Now the fight is heating up, both India, in India as well as in Australia. Our next report tells you how these two countries are leading this revolution. Last week, Google shook up the internet with a threat that it will switch off its search engine in Australia. That's what Google's top executive in Australia said. If this version of the code were to become law, it would give us no real choice but to stop making Google search available in Australia. This was in response to Canberra's demand, Google must pay for news. The news it picks up from media companies for free. The news it makes money from, but doesn't share. Google has refused to pay and threatened to leave. Australia isn't blinking either. Prime Minister Scott Morrison said his government will not bow down to Google. Now even the citizens of Australia have chimed in. They are gearing up for life without Google. They got to get paid like other ways. It's on their platform, but like it's what it's the content that matters as well. Not they're the Google is getting paid, you know what I'm saying? Of course they should pay. The proposition before the Australian Parliament is the product of 18 months of rigorous policy development. It's got the support of all the major parties. It's endorsed by all the major news organisations. This is good policy to regulate big tech. A similar pushback is visible in India. The tyranny of big tech is being challenged. The focus here is on WhatsApp and its new privacy policy. It has ended up in court. The government of India has expressed concern about WhatsApp's decision. The government's legal team appeared in the Delhi High Court on Monday. They pointed out WhatsApp's double standards. A different privacy policy for Europe, with an option just for European users, allowing them to opt out of sharing data with Facebook. But Indian users don't get this choice. The Indian government argued in court that this differential treatment is a cause of concern. The controversy began with this notification, informing users of WhatsApp to accept the new privacy policy by the 8th of February or delete the app. There was major backlash. WhatsApp was forced to extend the deadline to the 15th of May. There were concerns about privacy. How will WhatsApp and Facebook handle personal data of users? While the company maintains that personal exchanges remain protected, its users have left in hordes. Reports say millions of users have switched to alternatives like Signal and WhatsApp, with both apps clocking more than 1 million downloads earlier this month. The backlash against Big Tech began in America, right after the 2016 election, when Russia allegedly used internet platforms to influence the outcome of the election. CEOs of tech giants have since appeared before lawmakers several times. They have not been able to convincingly answer questions on user privacy and personal data. Now India and Australia have embarked on their own campaign to rein in big tech. These are two of the biggest markets for internet companies in the world. Any shift in India and Australia could dictate how tech giants do business across the world. Bureau Report. We on World is One. We on is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.